Okay. We're here at CES 2024 in the HyperX Arena. Check out HP's brand new laptop, starting with the Spectre. And also, we have an Omen Transcend that looks like a fantastic gaming laptop. This thing right here, though, man, I don't know if you guys remember what the old Spectre looked like, but it had diamond cut edges all the way along the side that were, for one, sharp. I don't like sharp laptops. And also, they just look kind of... I don't know, it wasn't good, it wasn't bad, but it was certainly a vibe. And this one right here, I really like the way that they've rounded it off. It feels great to just hold like this, but they have maintained that little diamond edged corner right here. So if you look at the IO, we have Thunderbolt 4, another Thunderbolt 4 that's at a 45 degree angle. They say that's great. So you can have you know, your charger going off to the side instead of directly into your mouse. Then on the other side, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and USB type A. It has all aluminum construction, so it's a little bit on the heaviest side compared to a magnesium laptop that's 14 inch, but at just over three pounds, it is not too bad. And the build quality is absolutely fantastic. Like if we give her a big old reef on it here, you can see this table is a lot less stable than this laptop. Thanks to Be Quiet for sponsoring our CES 2024 coverage. If you're shopping for your next PC build or just new components in general, make sure to check out Be Quiet. Their premium products include PC cases, power supplies, water and air cooling, and fans for desktop PCs. With roots in Germany, they've been in the industry for more than 20 years and specialize in making high quality parts that are nearly inaudible. This year at CES, they're showcasing their new white PC cases, white fans, and even white hard drive cages. Step into the world of silent computing with Be Quiet at the link down below. We had to move because they started playing copyrighted music. There's a party starting, but the real party is how good is this keyboard? Let us see. It is awesome. I would give it an easy A. It doesn't quite get the A plus that the Dragonfly has, but you know, when you're making one of the best laptops, yeah. Not an A plus, but a solid A, which is better than most. What we also have here is a new haptic touchpad. So this right here is using little force sensors and PZOs so that when you press on it, instead of it actually clicking, it's vibrating and giving you a little tactile bit. Now it doesn't feel quite like how I would want it, but the wonderful thing about haptic touchpads, look at this, I can go right down in here, change the intensity and now, there we go, I like it about right there. So that's what I love about these force touch pads. You can sort of adjust how much force it takes to actuate it and just tune it to how you like, love it. Also what I love, this display, it is 2.8K, 120 Hertz, but it goes down to 48 in order to save you battery life. And it just looks fantastic. Did I mention that it's OLED? Cause you would not be mistaking that for something else. Look, look at those blacks. They say it has up to 400 nit peak brightness, which is not the brightest that we've seen, but at the same time with that contrast of the OLED, man, does it ever look good. Also, it's a little 14 inch laptop with 120 Hertz display. I absolutely love that laptops, even like the more professional ones are starting to get high refresh rate. And also you can do that if you want. I don't, but you can. Now to get into the Spectre, you can use either a fingerprint up on the power button right here, best spot to have that, or Windows Hello facial recognition up top. And that is attached to an excellent webcam. So this thing right here is nine megapixels in a webcam. All right, how is this webcam? Wow, this is a challenging environment bunch of direct lights. But if I move around here, wow, that that is sharp. You can see that my hair is kind of being a bit strange. Normally you can't do that with a webcam. And it is so good exposing for my face. Look at Andy. He's got the super bright light right here, but we can also still see detail in the black areas and it is always exposing for my face. Excellent job, HP. One of my favorite things to do at CES is to ask if I can take it apart. Everyone always says no. And then you ask a couple more times and then you get to take it apart. Four T5 screws later, and we can get into this thing right here. 
and see their cooling solution. So we have two fans, two heat pipes. We have up to an Intel Ultra 7 155H. And also we have up to 32 gigabytes of RAM at 74, 67 mega transfers per second. That unfortunately is soldered right here, but you also cannot get those kind of speeds with SODIMS. Here we have a removable Wi-Fi card that's up to Wi-Fi 7 and a removable SSD, so you can upgrade that in the future. Here we have our 68 watt hour battery, which is absolutely massive. Look at how much of the laptop that is taking up. And they say that it will get you up to 14 hours of battery life. And even though a lot of laptop manufacturers, I'm like, mm, HP is generally pretty good, but we will have to test in the lab to know for sure. If you want a larger battery though, and a lot more power. Here is the new Spectre 16. This guy right here is essentially the same, except, well, larger, obviously. We have an HDMI 2.1 on the side, in addition to the rest of the I.O., which remains unchanged. And also, we have an up to an RTX 4050 in this thing. So I could see a lot of content creators being drawn towards this when maybe you're not so happy with what Dell's done with their most recent refreshes. Also here we have, look at the size of this trackpad. It's absolutely massive. Now, sadly, I don't know how many watts the 4050 in this will be able to consume, so I can't comment on just how powerful this will be. But at the same time, if you're looking at this, you're probably not looking for the most powerful laptop. You just want something that's nice to go around. It's about four pounds, feels great. Trackpad again, look at this trackpad. And it also has all the other things that made the 14 fantastic. If you do want performance though, oh, oh, oh. We have the Omen Transcend 14. This is a whole new SKU everyone these days as a 14 inch gaming laptop. And this right here, in my opinion, is one of the best. One thing that's kind of strange about it is that around back, we do all of the power delivery over USB-C. So it comes with a 140 watt USB-C charger and the rest of the IO is pretty good. Around this side, they have two USB type A's to make sure that the cord of your mouse goes just directly into it while you're gaming. Around back, USB-C with power delivery and display out, although I could not confirm if this is wired up for NVIDIA Optimus. HDMI 2.1, Thunderbolt 4, and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now, as far as I can tell, it's all plastic construction on this thing, but the build quality is just absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna have to take this apart and see if it's magnesium, just cause how did they get something that's made out of plastic this stiff? Like, look at that. I mean, if I, if I really reef on it, it does bend a little bit, but you aren't gonna be doing that day to day. For the display, we get, as far as I can tell, the same panel that's on the Spectre 14, but without touch. So this right here, yeah, can't be doing any of that, but at the same time, for a gaming laptop, this thing is absolutely fantastic. So 120 Hertz, but it's variable. So down to 48 and it has full coverage of DCI-P3. The other two do as well, but that's kind of expected in a business laptop, not so much in a thin gaming laptop. What should be noted though, is that that variable refresh rate is not G-Sync. So with OLED panels, it's very difficult to get variable refresh rates because your brightness is somewhat tied to your refresh rate. So this right here will just have several like, I don't know what the numbers are, but like 48, 60, 52, blah, 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 up to 120 all pre-calculated for the brightnesses to make sure that it works just nice. Now, one thing that I was immediately concerned about when I saw this design was the keyboard, because it is a little bit weird, just like how they include McAfee on their devices. As you can see here though, we do have four zones of RGB. There is going to be option for individual key RGB as well in the future, and my fears that they might have screwed it up based on the zero lattice design were completely unfounded. These right here, especially for a gaming laptop, are some of the best keys that I've felt. They have that really nice satisfying travel, but also if you look, there's no key movement when I'm pushing it like this. I can push on the side, whole key actuates at the same time. It feels actually fantastic. This right here is one of the rare gaming laptops where I would like it for both typing and gaming. It, it's maybe even a little bit stiff for gaming, but I really like typing on my gaming laptops. 
For performance, we get up to an Intel Ultra 9 185H and an RTX 4070 with up to 80 watts dedicated to the GPU with 15 watts of dynamic boost. HP does claim that this is going to be the best cooled 14 inch laptop, which I'm sure is something Asus will be very pleased to hear. Four Phillips head screws later and we are in it. Oh wow. That is one heck of a vapor chamber. Look, look at the size of this guy. It just covers the entire thing. We cannot see any of like the RAM, any of the CPU, any of the GPU. It is just vapor chamber here. How do you guys not have issues with it? Like drying out with it being so large. That is okay. Maybe they can say it's the best cooled. I don't know. We'll have to test it later. <laughs> Also in here, we can see that we have our SSD, which is removable, like to see that, and a 71 watt hour battery that they claim is good for up to 11 hours away from the wall, which in a gaming laptop like this means that you can kind of just daily drive this thing for all of your needs and then just be able to game after instead of a lot of gaming laptops where it's like, you can game and everything else is pretty bad. The Omen Transcend 14 is expected to start at $2,000. The Spectre 14, $1499. We're not totally sure about the 16 yet, and they're all available now. So you can, you can just do it. Just like I can do the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Hit like, get subscribed, and just have a great old day. And maybe, you know, look at some vapor chambers.